Luke chapter 9, then he, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, called his, the, his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And he said unto them, Take nothing for your journey, neither staves nor scrip, neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats apiece. But whatsoever house ye enter into, there abide, and thence depart. And whosoever will not receive you, when ye go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And they departed and went through the towns, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. Now Herod the Tetrarch heard of all that was done by him, and he was perplexed because that it was said of some that John was risen from the dead, and of some that Elias had appeared, and of others that one of the old prophets was risen again. And Herod said, John have I beheaded, but who is this? of whom I hear such things. And he desired to see him. And the apostles, when they were returned, told him all that they had done, and he took them and went aside privately into a desert place, behold, belonging to the city called Bethsaida. And the people, when they knew it, followed him, and he received them and spake unto them of the kingdom of God, and healed them that had need of healing. And when the day began to wear away, uh, then came the twelve, and said unto him, Send the multitude away, that they may go into the towns and country round about, and lodge and get rituals. In other words, get something to eat. For we are here in a desert place. And he said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said, We have no more but five loaves and two fishes, except we go and buy meat for all this people. For they were about five thousand men. And he said to his disciples, Make them sit down by fifties in a company. And they did so and made them all sit down. Then he took the five loaves and the two fishes, and looking up to heaven, he blessed them, and brake and gave to the disciples to set before the multitude. And they did eat, and were all filled, and there was taken up of the fragments, sorry, of fragments that remained to them two baskets. And it came to pass, as he was alone praying, his disciples were with him. And he asked them, saying, Whom say the people that I am? They answering said, John the Baptist, but some say Elias, and others say that one of the old prophets is risen again. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Peter answering said, The Christ of God, that is God's anointed the Chosen One of God, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the One concerning that the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. He's God's anointed, the Chosen One. And He straightly charged them and commanded them to tell no man that thing, saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be slain, and be raised the third day. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross daily, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what is a man advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself, or be cast away? For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he shall come in his own glory, and in his Father's, and of the holy angels. But I tell you of the truth, there be some standing here, 
which shall not taste of death till they see the kingdom of God. And it came to pass about an eight days after these sayings, he took Peter and John and James and went up into a mount to pray. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, and his raiment was white and glistening. A glistering. And behold, there talked with him two men, which were Moses and Elias, who appeared in glory and spake of his decease, which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep, and when they were awake, they saw his glory, and the two men that stood with him. And it came to pass, as they departed from him, Peter said unto Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elias, not knowing what he said. While he thus spake, there came a cloud and overshadowed them, and they feared as they entered into the cloud. And there came a voice out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved son, Hear him. I wonder, are you prepared to hear the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ? And they that hear shall live. You see, we need the new birth. We need to be born again into God's family through faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Without that new birth, we're heading down to hell. We're heading for the judgment of Almighty God. But God does not want to have to judge us, but he will if we die without Jesus Christ as our Saviour. You see, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. The man who said that could say, of whom I am chief. He was the chief of sinners. It was Saul of Tarsus, who persecuted the church of God. He was putting Christians to death. And yet he met the Lord Jesus Christ on a road that he was travelling one day, and he became a believer in our Lord Jesus Christ. He was born again into God's family through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You also need to be born again. Without being born again, we're going down to hell. We're facing the judgment of Almighty God. God does not want to have to judge us, but he will if we die outside of Christ as our Saviour. And when the voice was passed, this is uh, uh, verse 36 of Luke chapter 9, and when the voice was passed, Jesus was found alone, and they kept it close and told no man in those days any of those things which they had seen. And it came to pass that on the next day, when they were come down from the hill, much people met him. And behold, a man of the company cried out, saying, Master, I beseech thee, look upon my son, for he is mine only child. And lo, a spirit taketh him, and he suddenly crieth out, and it teareth him, that he foameth again, and bruising him, hardly departeth from him. This, this uh, child was, a, uh, was demon possessed. And I besought my disciples to cast him out, and they could not. Jesus answering said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you and suffer you? Bring my son hither, or bring my son here. And as he was yet in coming, the demon threw him down and tear him. And Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit and healed the child and delivered him again to his father. And they were all amazed at the mighty power of God, but while they wondered, Every one at all things which Jesus did, he said unto his disciples, Let these sing, uh, sayings sink down into your ears, for the Son of Man shall be delivered into the hands of men. And they understood not this saying, and it was hid from them, that they perceived it not, and they feared to ask him of that saying. Then there arose a reasoning among them which, which of them should be greatest. And Jesus, perceiving the thought of their heart, took a child and set him by him, and said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child 
in my name receiveth me, and whosoever shall receive me, receiveth him that sent me. For he that is least among you all, the same shall be great. And John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out demons in thy name, and we forbade him, because he followeth not up with us. And Jesus said unto him, Forbid him not, for he that is not against us is for us. And it came to pass, when the time was come that he should be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem. and sent messengers before his face, and they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. And they did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. When his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, wilt thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them, even as Elias did? But he turned and rebuked them, or told them off, and said, Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of, for the Son of Man is come. So he is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. Jesus said unto him, Foxes have all holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. And he said unto another, Follow me. And he, but he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. In other words, permit me first to go and bury my father. Jesus said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Jesus said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plough, to the plough, and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Luke chapter 10. After these things the Lord appointed other seventy also, and sent them two by two, the two and two before his face, into every city and place, whither or where he himself would come. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the labourers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth labourers into his harvest. Go your ways, behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Carry neither purse, nor scrip, nor shoes, and salute no man by the way. And into whatsoever house ye enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if the Son of Peace be there, peace shall rest upon it. If not, it shall turn to you again. And in the same house remain, eating and drinking such things as they give, for the labourer is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house, and into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you, and heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh or near unto you. But into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you not, go your ways out into the streets of the same, and say, Even the very dust of your city, which cleaveth on us, we do wipe off against you. Notwithstanding, be ye sure of this, that the kingdom of God is come nigh or near unto you. But I say unto you that I shall, or it shall be more tolerable in the day, in that day for Sodom than for that city. That is, Sodom was one of the cities that were destroyed by fire and brimstone from the presence of the Lord because of sodomy. But it's going to be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than for that city. Whoever rejects 
The Lord Jesus Christ is in worse trouble than the Sodomites that were killed in Sodom and Gomorrah. Woe unto thee, Chorazin! Woe unto thee, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works had been done in Tyre and Sidon, which had been done in you, they had a great while ago repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. What does it mean to repent? It means to come and agree with God that you are a sinner before the God of heaven. And then what you need to do is simply believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and then your soul will be saved. And now Capernaum, which art exalted to heaven, shall be thrust down to hell. He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. In other words, if we despise the Lord Jesus Christ, we're despising the God of heaven, the Father, who sent the Son to be our Saviour. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall be by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. I wonder, is your name written in heaven by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, as it were, as a lamb without blemish and without spot? You see, Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and he was buried. But praise God, the third day he rose again, according to the scripture, which means your soul could be saved. If you come in repentance to Lord God, that is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. Be honest before the God of heaven. And then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. second. It's too dangerous not to be saved, not to become a child of God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And as the Bible says, and thou shalt be saved. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father, and who the Father is but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. And he turned him unto his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And he said unto him, him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbour as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right, this do, and thou shalt live. You know, none of us can keep these commandments. And that's why all of us are heading down the hill without Christ as our Saviour. But I'm here to tell you tonight that the only way of salvation is the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God from heaven. When he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father 
But by me, have you come in repentance toward God? That is a change of mind. Have you agreed with God that you are a sinner? And then believed on the Lord Jesus Christ and as a result received eternal redemption from the God of heaven. But he willing to justify himself said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. By chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Likewise a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, now this is uh, picturing our Lord Jesus Christ, but a certain Samaritan as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence, and gave them to the host, and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest for, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, He that showed mercy on him. Then said Jesus unto him, Go and do thou likewise. Now it came to pass, as they went, that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. So Mary was listening to the preaching of the Lord Jesus Christ, the best preacher this world and this universe will ever know. But Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part which shall not be taken away from her. Luke chapter 11, And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend, and shall go unto him at midnight, and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine is, uh, in his journey has come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. And he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not, the door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he needed. And I say unto you, ask and it shall be given you, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you, uh, that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask uh, a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? 
Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? And he was casting out, casting out a demon, and it was dumb, and it came to pass when the demon was gone out, the dumb spake. And the people wondered, but some of them said, He casteth out demons through Beelzebub, the chief of the demons. And others tempting him sought of him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falleth. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because ye say that I cast out demons through Beelzebub, and if I, by Beelzebub, cast out demons, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. But if I, with the finger of God, cast out demons, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him, and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armour, wherein he trusted, and divideth his spoils. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth, gathereth not with me scattereth. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth, finding none, he said, I will return unto my house whence I came out, or from where I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished, then goeth he, and taketh to him seven other spirits, more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bear thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. And he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God, and keep it. When the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, This is an evil generation. They seek a sign. And there shall no sign be given it, but the sign of Jonas the prophet. For as Jonas was a sign unto the Ninevites, so shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation, and shall condemn them. For she came from the utmost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and behold a greater than Solomon is here. He's talking about himself. A greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonas and behold a greater than Jonas is here. No man, when he hath lighted a candle, putteth it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thine eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Take heed therefore that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If thy whole body therefore be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of a candle doth give thee light. And as he spake, a certain Pharisee besought him to dine with him, and he went in and sat down to meet. When the Pharisee saw it, Sorry, and when the Pharisee saw it, he marveled that he had not first washed before dinner. And the Lord said unto him, Now do ye Pharisees make clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but your inward part is full of ravening and wickedness. 
You fools did not hear that made that which is without make that which is within also, but rather give arms of such things as ye have, and behold, all things are clean unto you. But woe well unto you Pharisees, for ye tithe mint and rue, and all manner of herbs, and pass over judgment and the love of God. These are what ye uh, to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Woe well unto you Pharisees, for ye love the uppermost part seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets. Woe well unto you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, we are as graves which appear not, and the men that walk over them are not aware of them. Then answered one of the lawyers and said unto him, Master, thus saying, thou reproacheth us also. And he said, Woe well unto you also, ye lawyers, for ye laid men with burdens grievous to be borne, and ye yourselves touch not the burdens with one of your fingers. Woe well unto you, ye for ye build the sepulchres of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. Truly ye bear witness that ye allow the deeds of your fathers. For they indeed killed them, and ye build their sepulchres. Therefore also said the wisdom of God, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute that the blood of all the prophets which was shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation. From the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias which perished between the altar and the temple. Verily, I say unto you, it shall be quite of, required of this generation. Woe well unto you lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge Ye entered not in yourselves, and them that were entering in, ye hindered. And as he said these things unto them, the scribes and the Pharisees began to urge him vehemently, and to provoke him to speak of many things, laying wait for him, and seeking to catch something out of his mouth, that they might accuse him. There's no way anyone can accuse the Lord Jesus Christ of sin. Why? Because he's God himself. You see, God came down in the person of Jesus Christ. God came down and was clothed with a body, in a body, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man upon the cross of Calvary. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and he was buried, and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Your soul can be saved as a result of repentance toward God, that is, a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then put your faith in our Lord the Saviour, Jesus Christ. He shed his precious blood for you. He died on the cross for you. He loves you so much that he died upon the cross. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That everlasting life can be yours tonight through repentance toward God. That is, a change your mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and then put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, in whom we have redemption through his blood even, the forgiveness of sins. Remember, it's either heaven or hell. What will it be for you? Is determined by what you do with the Lord Jesus Christ, Saviour or Judge. What will it be for you? You, you determine your eternal destiny by either rejecting Christ or receiving Him. He came unto His own and His own received Him not. But as many as received Him, that's Jesus Christ, to them, gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. What will you do then with Jesus, which is called the Christ? If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you, and thanks for listening.